Why do I have dorms on the brain? Ooh, I need to grab this key, I know that. Before anyone else gets here, we gotta grab this key right here. Actually, I don't have to risk that. That's why we got the key tool, man. And now we're gonna get out of dodge. Because this is not a place where we wanna be right now. We wanna push big red. So our options are head down the right hand side or push across here. I'm gonna try to push across here because if someone is coming across from the other side, um, we can take them head on. But we wanna get across before someone takes up a sniping position with the gun that we're hearing over here in the background, right? Because that's exactly what will happen. So we're gonna um, push up and around here, left side, and move up uh, by uh, by trailer. I don't know if we'll go directly into Big Red because we definitely just heard some gunfire there, but um, this is kind of the route I'm thinking for now. And yeah, we're just gonna play off the spawns and see uh, see what what happens, what transpires. What goes down? You know what I mean? It's about what happens next. I don't even know. <laughs> Look, man, I came to play some Tarkov tonight. So <laughs> I'm going to have some fun. I hope you guys are. <laughs> I'm going to talk some shit. We're going to get killed. We're going to kill some people. You know, just stuff's going to happen. One way or another. I'm not playing laying around in the grass tonight, man. I got gear, a box full of it. I don't care if we lose it. Um, You know gonna be one of those nights I'm DTF y'all you know what that means not what you guys think you know it's not that I'm not no DT D, down to fight not not what you're thinking down to fight okay jeez get your heads out of the gutter man it's all about Tarkov ain't nobody got time for that I'm trying to shoot people or get shot at, one of the two. Meanwhile, I need to check this car because reasons. What do we got going on in here? Some croutons? Don't mind if I do. Matter of fact, I'm going to stop and just listen for a second. Always a good idea to... Uh, to give yourself a chance to just hear what's going on around you in PvP. I think, um, you know, looking back on a lot of the episodes, that's one of the mistakes I've been making. It's just moving too fast, too far. Or, you know, just playing into other people's hands without really considering my approach. So, so our extracts are going to be dorms or bunker. So, yeah. We make it into Big Red and we get this package. We've got a long way to go, so no need in rushing this thing. That said, I don't hear much. Yeah, so I just kind of walk my way through on PvP, honestly. You know, it's uh, less likely to draw noise. It's not as slow as slow walking, but at the same time, it's not that deadly sprint move that everyone can hear five miles away. someone
why so many scabs, bro? That's a lot of scabs. Jeez, that's a lot of scabs. The scabby scabs hanging out on the side there. So we're gonna take a sec, listen, now that we've just, you know, woke up the neighborhood and see who comes to play. Then we'll move up. I'll start off with a three piece though, I'll take that. Even if it is scabs. A little something to get the, the blood flowing and the juices going tonight. <laughs> Thank you guys for uh, checking out the stream. I appreciate you uh, coming by. Welcome to the channel. PvP tonight and tomorrow. There'll be more PvE streams later on this week as well. So be on the lookout for those. Should be good, good times. Now, I'm not hearing anything else over here. Doesn't mean there isn't something else over here, so. I'm gonna play it safe. Now, those scabs were bunched on that corner for a reason, I'm assuming. I just don't know why. Either they were bunched there because they spawned there and the AI derped out and they just didn't know, quote unquote, what to do, or they were there because. They were aggroed to something they couldn't get to, which could be a dangerous proposition for us. Being the ones who want to loot the bodies, because of course I want to loot the bodies, right? I mean, at least the pocket. Thought I heard something. Okay, not close. <laughs> not close, continue looting. You never know, they might have some, some juice in these uh, pockets. Definitely got some crackers. I mean, we could use those. Shotgun. I mean, you never know. I might use a shoddy. Not with slugs, though. I mean, that's not happening. Respirator, we'll take it just for the XP and give you right back. Um, That's not, is that, I mean, it's inventory positive, barely. I suppose. Well, why not? Are you not fully loaded just why why are you not loaded oh you are my guy my dude you brought me some decent weaponry and three clips and there's definitely someone down <laughs> range just popping off shots man Oh yeah, there's a fight going on. Sweet! Maybe they'll kill each other and we can swoop in and... Oh fuck, I need to eat something. Why am I so starving, y'all? Um, is it safe here? Is this dumb of me? I feel like this is dumb of me, but I'm gonna do it anyway. You know what I mean? Because I'm just that... Oh, ooh, VPO too. That's 10 rounds though. AKM 10 rounds or VPO 10 rounds. I mean, come on, that's. I don't know, that one's got a hollow though, so. We'll take the hollow. And the mustache. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's going in there. Alright. You know, I don't. Mm, can't fold this, can I? No. Okay. Uh, it's going to have to stay where it's at then. Alright, we need to go eat and uh, reposition. Hearing all that gunfire down there. Is this scav aggroing us or someone else? Us. Again, we just killed them out in the open, so not gonna loot them. We're gonna tuck in here. 
top of this car, or actually beside it, and just repack and listen. We just saw or heard a lot of gunfire close to our position, so dumbest thing we could do would be to try to loot them right after we we shot them. So we're just gonna chill. I mean, at the end of the day, none of this matters because we're gonna be pushing red anyway to get the stuff out of red that we need. So many scabs. Same plan, I need to repack. Um, and then we'll worry about looting them in a second. If you're just joining the stream, <laughs> thanks for joining. <laughs> you know, as usual, we're surrounded by scavs and, you know, just uh, fighting our way through it. Just uh, just on PvP instead, you know, only difference. Hope you guys are having a good night tonight. <laughs> so far, so good. First raid of the evening, and it's uh, been a decent one. Hmm. Well, we need more in there than that. So just heard someone with a rifle not too far away from our position. And we've downed, oh, I don't know, seven scabs, so... More than likely they heard us, and that's them right there, speaking of which. He probably won't expect me to repeat this immediately. He's going to pre-fire. He's got a friend there. Fuck, there's the grenade. Oh, He doesn't know if that killed me or not. We're getting pushed. Two sides. This is where it sucks to be a solo sometimes. Hey guys, you want to call a truce, man? I'm like bleeding out and I just need a graphics card from Big Red. Can we talk about this? Straight up, for real, man. No bullshit. I'll step out first. Okay, brother. I'm just healing up, so S straight up, I'm cool, all right? All right, all right. Look, I'm looking down, and I'm I'm streaming right now, so please don't embarrass me. <laughs> Name's Com4, by the way. How y'all doing? Uh, how's it going in Tarkov tonight, fellas? I created a, a pile of scav bodies. If you guys would like to loot them, feel free. I know we've been following it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, I'm running solo because uh, reasons. You know, I like to punish myself. I don't know about you guys. Uh, it's us plus one, but he's he's just loaded back and he's disconnected over red. Okay, hopefully I didn't get you guys too hard. Sorry, I didn't. I was reacting. <laughs> I should have tried to talk to you first, probably, you know. <laughs> uh, man, it's been a long day. It's my first raid of the night, and I would like to make it out alive. What are you guys trying to get done? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, these guys needed the director's office, so we're just trying to get out now. Oh, okay, I got the key. You already popped it? Yeah, yeah, we got it. Thank you, though. Okay, cool. Well, that's really all I needed, man. I'm, no. No, man, mine's either Dorms VX or Bunker, so probably Bunker. Oh, shit. Yeah. yeah. I got a long ways to go, so that's when I was like, hey, man, let's just be peaceful. <laughs> so, uh. When I heard the shooting back over here, I was like, fuck, dude, how do you wrap around? Yeah, well, I, was, I heard shooting over there, so I knew someone was there, and I was just like, let me just wait and see what they're going to do. And meanwhile, I got assaulted by an army of scavs, so, you know. There was that. <laughs> for real. So yeah, man. Hey, I'm a uh, I'm Con4. I got a channel with uh, Falks Nest Gaming. We're new, about 2K subs. I do PVE and PVP. So check me out. 
Hey, that, just uh, I'm with Falcon S Gaming. It's a new channel. I'm uh, streaming right now. Name's Confor. Happy to meet y'all. Well, yeah, dude, I do PVE and PVP. Um, like a moron, I just love Tarkov that much. So, but uh, hey, I wish y'all the best, man. Thank you for the for the truce. Really. Yeah, you too, man. Yeah. All right, all right, be good. Well. There's a you know an example of how PVP interactions can go. <laughs> so, uh, now we got those guys off our back. That doesn't mean everyone else is off our back. So I'm gonna repack before we head out. But we need to go to Big Red. Good news is those guys probably already killed um, some of what would have been our competition. So it ups our chances. But we still have an uphill battle. I'm gonna drop that because for us at this point, it really just constitutes extra weight that we don't need. So. We'll get rid of that and we'll keep it moving. If you're in the stream, thank you so much for joining the stream. It's our first raid of the evening. Uh, so far, it's been a banger. we got to make it into Big Red, though, and get our uh, package for our graphics card. And then uh, there's evidently something else we need. Um, but before we do anything, I probably should eat, you know, and uh, and drink. Because, yeah, we're clearly... <laughs> we're clearly... Um, I'm so used to having max metabolism... Yeah, probably should have taken care of this already. All right, so let's get on to uh, to Big Red, shall we? So I see no reason to be shy about it with those guys gone. If someone's here, we're just gonna push the fight anyway at this point. What am I concussed or some shit? Hmm. Alright, so chances are um, the barn is clear for now. We need to get in there before any other PMCs get here or before any um, player scavs start to spawn in. I don't know if player scavs would really push this or how big of a thing they even are on customs, but chances are nothing we need is there. We just need the package of graphics cards and then there's something else. There's one thing we got to take to factory as well. While we're here, we should try to get them both. And then uh, we'll either deposit that or we won't. But we're here. We know those guys looted it, so I'm not going to worry about that. What we are going to worry about is trying to get a safe extract. So from Big Red, knowing what we know, we know there was a firefight over here on the left side. And we met those guys, right? So um, we're going to head that way, hug the wall down along the back side of dorms and move to bunkers um, along the back side of dorms. If the vehicle exit is still available, we can take that. If it's not, um, then we got to push to a bunker. But we've got two of the quest items that we came for, so it would be outstanding if we got into customs, got our two quest items, and then got out alive in the very first raid. That would be huge, huge, huge win for us. But... Um, the challenge with that is that our extract is literally the furthest one away from us um, as far as where we're going to be going. So let's go ahead and heal this bleed. I'm going to get this ammo out of here. I mean, at the end of the day, like it's it's going to be better for us where it's at. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm too cheap for that. Yeah, we still got someone over there sniping, so all the more reason we don't want to take the uh, the main road. We want to go the road less traveled. Now, we could just wait this one out and uh, and give the raid some time to uh, to mature, shall we say? But um, I don't think that's the play here. That gunfire sounds like it's coming from Fortress or beyond. I mean, those guys being a trio, we know they probably killed some folks, right? There's a dead guy right there, actually. Oh, there's a dead guy right there. Hmm. <laughs> That's never a good thing. <laughs> Let's hope we're not that dead guy soon. 
And I'm out of uh, stem, so that's not good either. But you know, hey, say la vie. Can't always get what you want. Right now, I want some stem and an extract. <laughs> you know, <laughs> smugglers yet again. You let me down. You know, <laughs> like this extract never works with me. I swear. I swear it doesn't. So yeah, um, I tend to just kind of stick to the edges as a solo uh, when I'm trying to play it safe. Um, and that's defined as when I have a quest item that I'm trying to extract with. players down there or player skies one of the two make them push to us I'm gonna hug the wall tight and walk backwards at this point we know we have an enemy behind us we don't know what's in front of us but we know we don't have stam so till we get some cover into these trees we got a real problem with those guys being able to push back behind us so now that we're not in as much danger because of the tree cover. We can stop and reget some of our stamina, regain. But we are also right in front of dorms, and I don't want to stay there very long either. Because again, another hot spot, a lack of energy is starting to play a part here for us. Um, and that, that is unfortunate right now because it's going to affect our stamina, our ability to see. Our ability to run. <laughs> Pretty much everything we need to do. Um, you know, all the important stuff. No big deal. And yeah, we're just going to run through. We got a firefight right there. So we're going to take this opportunity to just leave. While they're fighting it out. Now... I can barely see, so chances of that changing by the time we leave are slim and none. So what we need to do is go ahead and put one of these on the hotbar, actually, um, so that I can heal as we go here because we're going to start to lose health, um, and so we'll need to uh, replenish what is what is draining out of us as we move. Um, and yeah, that stamina, boy, that's going to be the biggest issue for us, but, you know, you just move forward, right? That's what you do. And, um, we need to find some way to get our stamina back. I need to either pop a squat back here, which maybe we'll do that. I don't know. Oh, you know what? We can check for our supply crate over here. If, if it's here and no one searched it, I mean, there's a chance there might be some food or some something in there. And it's not here, so that's not going to be a thing. Dude, I cannot get any stamina back as we're walking. I'm dying. Literally. This is not good, guys. <laughs> this is not good. <laughs> okay. There's what you want, and then there's this. Alright, those two are not the same. But, I can honestly say, it's not the first time I've been in a situation like this. And probably won't be the last. <laughs> To be honest, I find myself in situations like this from time to time. You know, just uh, just poor planning on my fault. You know, bring food and water. Don't get your stomach shot out, you know. 
Um, I mean, basically, that's the moral of the story. Don't let your stomach get shot out and bring food and water. And then, if you're not going to do either of those two things, make sure you have enough heels to survive, because holy shit, guys, I don't know if we're going to make it. I'm going to just stop for a second and heal. And then we're going to have to regen some stamina, and then I'm going to have to decide what comes with us based on, um... Oh, crackers. Yeah, let's get those. Oh, oh, that might be the lifesaver, you guys. We're going to take the crackers, take the other stuff, and we're just going to drop the rig because uh, it's extra weight at this point, and the AKM. We don't need it. We, we don't need this. All that stuff is going to do is going to keep us from being able to get out of here. And we don't, we don't need that. So I'm going to heal up real quick. least the important bits, right? Now that we have some energy. Let our stamina regen. Alright. Time to go. So what we got to do is we got to make it from here, over that hill, through that gate, and then out the bunker, without you know someone killing us or us just dying because we're out of energy. So you know if we were on say this hill part, you know actually we could lay down, right, move forward and get some of this energy back, and that's probably what we're going to have to do because if we don't get our stamina back and start to run, we're going to die simply because we are uh, in that bad of shape here. So yeah. Uh you know, we're uh <laughs> we're going to do the best we can here, guys. That's all I can promise. Hopefully we make it. <laughs> I mean, this would be a pretty epic way to start the night if we do, you know. When we do, when we do, we're going to make it. Okay, we're going to make it. All right, full stand, time to run. Because if anyone else is still in this raid, chances are they're trying to get out too. And our little fucking Timmy legs are... Between our Timmy legs and our Timmy stam, we got some serious Timminess going on right now, is what I'm trying to tell you. So we need to... Um, before we do anything else, I'm get in this container and get us some stamina and try to heal up and then make one last push to extract um, and give ourselves the best possible chance now there could be some uh, food in this actually I don't see any problem with ch checking for that because I don't bleach well whatever yeah we're gonna just go in here man now this might be a, a something that comes back to haunt me later no but not really I'm happy with this raid now, I definitely want to make it out, but I understand every time I load into a raid in Tarkov, sometimes you make it and sometimes you don't. When you do, it feels wonderful. When you don't, it feels terrible. <laughs> but overall, that's just the game, right? I'm going to wait here and get some stamina back if I can. Can you please give me some stamina back? Please, I do not want to make this push without stamina, man. Reason being, if anyone's camping this bunker, I just want to be able to maneuver. We find ourselves in one last firefight here, which we may well. But we're not going to get stamina. As a matter of fact, if we don't move, we might just die. So, Limp our way to the extract. That's our option. <laughs> and that's what we're going with, because, you know, that's what we got, right? So... And, uh, yeah, we put ourselves in this position because we didn't remember that we're still a Timmy, we're late to the wipe, and we don't have max metabolism or freaking 51 strength or any of that shit anymore, and we just have to tough it out like everyone else. Period. Right? So, extract open. Please, no camper. Oh, my goodness, man. Come on, dude. Let us out. Let's go. Oh, let's go. That is huge if we get out with this. Out fucking standing way to start the night. I'll take it. 
Oh, man. I gotta remember to bring stuff we need, you guys. Try to push inside so I don't get clipped by someone rushing in right out the gate. At least we could put ourselves in a position to be able to defend. go up there. Not all that familiar with the underground. a good way to enter. Oh, this might be a thing we'll need, right? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, it's something, right? Even if it's not the best, it's a thing. I don't know that we put that there. Well, I think our best path up then, based on our choices, is going to be the one that's back over here. Not sure what part of the store it's going to bring us up in, but all the stores we need to hit are on that bottom floor anyway, so... Definitely got stuck under this before the other day. Okay. I know where this is, but I feel like we got someone up top. I forgot grenades. <laughs> See, lobby. So, T Rand is one of the stores we need. So we can start there. 
We'll work our way around. Brand is right up there. Damn. Kind of so exposed here though. But gotta do it. That was almost bad. <laughs> Burst fire. <laughs> you don't want to realize that at the wrong time, you know? So now we need avocado. Alright. Um, and costin. Well, shit. Because those are not by this way. avocado this is just stupid the way I'm pushing but you know I've never claimed to be the smartest guy bro hey chill and we can be cool no all right well fuck I was dead either way <laughs> Hey, we can be cool. Let, just stop shooting me, right? I mean, it works sometimes. <laughs> Not tonight, Agent Galaxy. You won the day. So, uh, if you're watching the episode, that'll do it for the episode. If you're in stream, hang tight. We'll, uh, we'll get geared up and, uh, and get going again. Appreciate you guys for checking us out. It's your boy, Con4 with Fox Gaming. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.